n term of an arithmetic sequence with first term a sub 1 and a common difference d is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1. So such that a sub n is equal to the nth term while a sub 1 is equal to the first term and d is considered as the common difference and n is equal to the number of terms. Let's solve this problem. Find the 21st term of the arithmetic sequence 6, 9, 12, and 15. First, let's identify our a sub 1 or our first term. Now, since our first term in the given is 6, so we will write here a sub 1 is equal to 6. Next, let's find out our common difference. So, in order to get the common difference, let's find out the difference difference between 9 and 6 is equal to 3. Okay, 12 minus 9 is also 3. And finally, 15 minus 12 is also 3. So therefore, we can say that the common difference is equal to 3. Next, we want to find out our number of terms. Since we have here, we are looking for the a 21st or a sub 21, so it means that, okay, our n is equal to 21. Okay, since there are 21 terms. Now, since we know already a sub 1 is equal to 6, the common difference is 3, so the number of terms is equal to 21, and a sub 21 is unknown. So let's apply the formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Recall that a sub 1 is equal to 6 plus our n or the number of terms is equal to 21 minus 1 times the common difference of 3. Simplifying it further, so our a sub 21 is equal to 6 plus 20 times 3. So we have 6 plus 60. So therefore, a sub 21 is equal to 66. So thus, the 21st term is equal to 66. So let us now consider the next example. In the arithmetic sequence 7, 10, 13, 16, find n if a sub n is equal to 304. So, let's list down the given. So, we start with a sub 1 is equal to 7 since this is the first number in the sequence. Next, to identify our common difference, let's get the difference between 7 and 10. And that is 3. While the difference between 10 and 13 is also 3. And the difference between 13 and 16 is also 3. So, the common difference is equal to 3. Okay, what else? From the given, we can say that a sub n is equal to 304. From this, we can start with the formula. Okay, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times t. Recall that a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. Substitute, a sub n is equal to 304, is equal to 7, plus, we don't know the n yet, minus 1 times the common difference of 3. Simplifying it further, we have 304 is equal to 7, plus, let us distribute n times 3, so we have 3n, then we have negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Simplifying it again, so we have 304 is equal to, let's add 7 plus negative 3, so that is equal to 4 plus 3n. Next, so I want to find the value of n, so I'll divide both sides of the equation by 4. So this is 300, it's the same as 3n. Okay, 
So again, 300 is equal to 3n. Divide both sides by 3. So n is equal to 100. So, from the given, a sub n is equal to 304. So, I can say that a sub n equals 304. Or, we can say that a 100 is equal to 304. So, therefore, we can say that 304 is the 100th term of the sequence. Okay, so let's try another example. So, in the arithmetic sequence, 14, 6, negative 2, find the 27th term. So, let's identify first the given. So, the given or 14 is equal to your first term. So, we have here a sub 1 is equal to 14. What else? So, how do we find the common difference? So, to find the common difference, d is equal to 6 minus 14 which is equal to negative 8. To verify our common difference, let's try negative 2 minus 6. So, this is still negative 8. So, therefore, the common difference is equal to negative 8. Next, what do we want to find? So, that is A27. So, meaning to say this is the 27th term. So, this is a note. Since we have a of uh, sub 27, it means that the number of terms is equal to 27. Okay, so we can now utilize the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So a sub 1 is equal to 14 plus the number of terms is 27 minus 1 times the common difference of negative 8. Let's simplify. So we have 14 plus 26 times negative 8. So we have the final answer of negative 194. So this is your A27. So therefore, the 27th term is negative 194. Let's move on to the next question. After one second, a rocket is 30 feet above the ground. After another second, it is 85 feet above the ground. Then after another second, it is already 140 feet above the ground. If it is continuous to rise at this rate, how many feet above the ground will the rocket be after 16 seconds? So let's list down first the given in this problem. So. Since it was mentioned, okay, our a sub 1 is equal to 30. Next, after that, we have a sub 2 is equal to 85. Next, our a sub 3 is equal to 140. So here are the sequence 30, 85, and 140. Now, to get our common difference, let's subtract 85 by 30, and the difference is 55. And let's double check that by subtracting 140 by 85. And the difference is still 55. So we can say that the common difference is equal to 55. Next, the number of terms is equal to 16 because it was mentioned here how many feet above the ground will the rocket be after 16 seconds. Therefore, our A sub n okay which is actually a sub 16 so i can now use the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the number of terms minus 1 times the common difference my a sub 1 is equal to 30 plus the number of terms is 16 minus 1 times the common difference of 55. So we have here 30 plus 15 times 55. So we are looking for a sub 16. So a sub 16 is equal to 30 
plus 825. So, A sub 16 is equal to 855. So, therefore, the rocket will be 855 feet above the ground after 16 seconds. Let's move on to the next problem. The third term of arithmetic sequence is 8 and the 16th term is for the 7. Find the common difference, the first term and the 71st term. Okay, so let's start with the given that a sub 3 is equal to 8. So we have a sub 3 is equal to 8. So from our formula, a sub 1 is equal a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So it follows that, okay, a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 plus the number of terms is equal to 3, okay, times d. But a sub 3 is equal to 8, so we have here a sub 1 plus 2d. So this is our first equation. Next, while on a sub 16 is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Take note that we do not know yet the first term, so a sub 1 plus, since the n here is equal to 16 minus 1 times d. But take note that a sub 16 is equal to 47. So this is our 16 term. So we have 47 is equal to a sub 1 plus 15d. So this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. Now, using the elimination method, okay, so I can subtract equation number 2 by equation number 1. So it means that I have 47 is equal to a sub 1 plus 15d. Then subtract 8 is equal to a sub 1 plus 2d. So we have here uh, 39 is equal to 13d. Take note that I can okay, cancel a sub 1 and a sub 1. Okay? Then divide both sides by 13. So the common difference is equal to 3. Next, since I know now my common difference, I will now find the first term. Okay, I can use the first equation. So it means that is 8 is equal to a sub 1 plus 2d. Then substitute. So 8 is equal to a sub 1 plus 2 times 3. So 8 is equal to a sub 1 plus 6. Subtract both sides by 6. So we have 8 minus 6 is equal to a sub 1. So a sub 1 is equal to 2. Next, I want to find out the 70 First term. So using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Take note that I have here a 71 is equal to 2 plus the number of terms is 71 minus 1 times the common difference of 3. So we have 2 plus 70 times 3. So I have here 2 plus 210. So this is equal to 212. So therefore, my okay, a, a sub 71 or the 71st term is equal to 212. Let us consider the problem in number 5, but this time we will use alternative solution to find the value of the common difference or our D. 
No. So the formula is D is equal to A sub N minus A sub K all over N minus K. So what do we mean by that? A sub N stress that this is the second okay, term mentioned in the problem. So we have A sub N is actually the 16th term. So this is the second term mentioned in the problem. So A sub N is equal to 47. So which is actually your A sub 16. So it follows that our N is equal to 16. Next, A sub K is actually the first term mentioned in the problem, and that is actually your third term, which is equal to A. So A sub K is equal to 8. So it follows that this is actually your A sub K. So it implies that K is equal to 3. Since we know the value of A sub N, A sub K, N and K, we can use the formula D is equal to A sub N minus A sub K all over N minus K. So this is equal to 47 minus 8 all over 16 minus 3. So we have 39 over 13. So the value of D is equal to 3. Since we know already the value of D, we can determine the value of A sub 1 as well as A 71. So that ends our discussion for today. Thank you so much. So don't forget to subscribe so that you will be notified about my new videos.